Hi there, my name is Russell and I, along with Rob Sansom, who will be introducing himself in just a minute, will be delivering the course Evolution and Paleobiology for you this coming term. I'm really looking forward to teaching on this course because we're going to cover a range of really, really interesting topics. We'll start with the origins of life on Earth, and then we're going to look at what's happened since that point over the last 3,500 million years. We'll look at the patterns and the processes of evolution, and some of the events that have occurred during that time, including, for example, extinctions, and how we can use those to understand the impact that we, as humans, are having on the Earth today. As I'm sure you're aware, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we'll be delivering the equivalent of your lectures for this course remotely via videos such as this one. So the contents for this course, those lectures have been organized into web pages, such as the one you're viewing this on, or blackboard folders, where the content will be delivered in 10 to 20 minute blocks for you. There may be a few of these to get through for our originally timetabled two hour lecture slots, but we've chunked it up like this into little bits um, in the hope that they are easier to digest when they're delivered in this way. And so you can do all of this on your own terms. You can watch them as and when suits you, make notes if you so wish, and then slowly digest the information that we've provided. We'll then get together as a class in our timetable slots. And this will give you the opportunity to ask questions about the course material if there is anything that you haven't understood, but also give us as a group the opportunity to discuss some of these topics. We'll probably start off in many instances doing this in small groups before coming back together to discuss things more widely uh, as a class as a whole. So very briefly, we have four aims for this course. First, we will provide an overview of the major milestones and transitions in the history of life and how they fit into both evolution and our understanding of evolution and of course, Earth history over the last 3,500 million years. And in particular, I hope that one of the take home messages of this course will be that evolution and Earth history are really richly intertwined. We'll explore topics including the patterns and the processes of evolution from short time scales all the way through to really, really long ones. We'll also look at the structure of the tree of life. We will look at how we can better understand both of these things, the patterns and the processes of evolution and the structure of the tree of life using the fossil records as well as groups of organisms that are alive today. We'll also, over the duration of this course, learn about paleoecology and, for example, about how fossils can tell us about environments in the past. We'll also check out diversity patterns throughout the history of life, including extinctions and the relatively new field of conservation and paleobiology, how we can use uh, the history of life to inform conservation practices today. In terms of the assessment for this course, uh, the marks are split between two exercises. The first, which is worth 30% over the overall marks, is a blog post. This can be on a major transition in the history of life. It could be on the origins of a particular group of organisms. For example, it could be the origins of your favorite group of animals, or it could be on pretty much any other evolutionary topic. If this sounds very broad in scope, that's because it is. We want this to be something that intensely interests you, something that you are really pleased to be writing a 2000 word blog post about. So you can feel free to ask questions about this in the first Zoom session, but as I'll highlight in just a minute, there are further details available on the blackboard for this um, course unit. The remaining 70% of course marks will be based on an open book assessment. So this will be much like an exam, but it can be done remotely and you can use whatever materials you like to help you complete this exercise. I'll give you, be giving you more details about this and of course an insight into what Rob and I will be asking within this assessment 
in the Zoom sessions. So please do your very best to try and attend these because I hope they'll be really useful for you, both in your understanding of the contents of the course, but also in helping you prepare for the assessments. You can find more details about all of this and more on the blackboard for this course. So you can find full instructions for the blog post, the course syllabus and the reading list by clicking on the course information link on the left hand side of the um, blackboard page for the course. And of course you'll be able to find uh, more information about every uh, session in each one of the folders that we have created there. In our next video for this instruction, just down the page, there is an overview of the topics that we're going to be covering in the course in just a bit more detail for you.